In this video of LinkedIn Marketing course, I'm going to teach you how to install a insight tag into your website so that you can track all the activities of your website directly from your LinkedIn ads account. And this is very important in order to track your conversions, in order to track your all events that how how many website visitors we got and how many sales we got, how many conversions we got, right? It is moreover like the Facebook pixel code or Google's tracking code, right? As we do with the uh, Google's tracking code and Facebook pixel code, same we have to do with the uh, LinkedIn's inside code as well. So let's directly jump into my LinkedIn account and generate one code or you can say inside tag and paste it into our website. So guys, I'm into my LinkedIn account right now. So directly click on the for business option and click on advertise so that we can log in into our campaign manager. And once we are into our campaign manager, you need to select your ad accounts. So let me click on the active one. And now in ad accounts, you get these options. And these are the group uh, campaign groups over here, right? Now in the ad account option, you not add uh, ad account option. You get the ad account into your campaign manager and you get inside code on the ad account level itself right as you can see we are into the ad account right now and here you will be able to click on first you need to click on the analyze option in the left hand side menu where uh, you'll be able to see plan advertise test and then analyze so this is a drop down menu once you click on this you get three options inside tag website demographics and conversion tracking so let's click on inside tag first and once you click on inside tag, you'll be able to see get started by clicking an inside tag. So we haven't created an inside tag in this account. That's why it is asking me to create first. So create inside tag, agree and continue. And here you get three options. The first one is I will install the tag myself. So if you are capable to install the tag by yourself, you can use this option. The second option is if you have a developer who uh, manage your website website on your behalf. So you can directly send the code to your uh, developer by using this option, right? And the third option is I will use tag manager. So this is the option for Google's tag manager because Many advertisers use Google's Tag Manager in order to tag, uh, in order to manage multiple tags. So they directly paste the code into the Tag Manager, and the Tag Manager have access to the site. So this is how they can those uh, inside tag can track the website, right? So the I'm going with the most popular method, which is I will install the tag myself. And once you click on this, here is the code. Right, you just need to copy this and if you hover your cursor over here, it is saying that copy the code to clipboard. So if I click on this, the code is copied. Right Now I just have to go to my website and paste this code into the head section of my website. As you can see here, paste the tag inside code below in your website's global footer right above the Closing HTML body tag, adding the tag to the footer will let you track conversions, retarget on any page across the your whole website. So you get you have the option if you want to paste the code into the footer section, you can go with it. Otherwise, you can paste the uh, code into the header section as well. Right. The thing is, header or the footer should be available or should be same into the all page of your website right if the header section is getting changed or if some pages doesn't have the header section then those pages will not able to will not be able to track because we have pasted the code into the header section right so this is why linkedin is asking us to add the uh, code into the footer section because nobody removes the footer section from from any uh, website's page right from any page of the website that's why now it is totally up to you if you want to paste it into the header section you can paste it if you want to paste it into the body uh, not body uh, footer section you can paste it now let's directly go to our website which is this this is the front end of our website the website name is offerbazaar.store and we are going to paste 
uh, the code into this website, right? This is a dumb, dummy website which we are going to use. And this is the dashboard backend of our website. Uh, this is WordPress based website and this is the backend of the WordPress, right? Now what I'm going to do, there's one manual method and there's one automated method, uh, not auth automated, uh, that is kind of a pretty easy method you can say, right? So the manual method is to go to appearance and go to theme file editor. And in theme file editor, you will be able to see the header and the footer option, right? This is the header.php and the footer.php. So if you want to add the, paste the code into the footer dot, basically in the foot, uh, footer of your website. So you need to go to the footer.php and you need to scroll a little bit down. And this is the footer code where you can paste the code over here as well. You just need to add one extra line over here and you can paste it, right? Now, same goes with the header.php option as well. Just click on the header and you can uh, paste the code into the header section or of your website or the head section of your website. Now, you might be get you might get confused at where to paste. Can I paste it here? Can I paste it here? No. Head opening is this one, right? As you can see, bracket and then head, then bracket closing. And the head closing is this one, right? So you need to paste the code between these two green head uh, text, right? So what you can do is you can create a line over here. So this will be, if I paste the code here, this will uh, come between these two head sections, right? So this will add into the head section, right? You can't paste it here or here or anywhere, right? You just need to paste the code into these, bit, between into these uh, text, right? So you can paste it here by just clicking paste button and just update the file and the code will be live into your website. Now the second method which you can follow is pretty simple. You just need to go to the plugin section and in plugins directly click on add new so that you can add new plugin into your website. And this is the plugin store where you can find some free plugins. And here you just need to write header, right? Header or footer, whatever you want to write. You can write it header and you'll be able to see that these are the plugins which can help you to paste the code directly into your website without uh, by editing the code manually, right? So let's use this one which has around 2 million active installations. So let's use this one, WP code. And hit the active button. And now let's see whether the plugin is installed is not. Yes, this is the plugin code snippet. Now click on the header and footer option. When you hover your cursor over here, you will be able to see header footer. So directly click on header footer. And now here you see the header option and the footer option. If you paste your code here, let's see, let's see, I have pasted the code over here. And if I click on save changes, this code has been pasted into the header section of my website and same goes with the footer section and this is the body section, right? So if you want to paste it on the footer section, you can paste it like this, same, right? So this is how you can paste the inside tag into your website so that you can track events, you can track conversions directly from your LinkedIn account. I hope you understood the procedure. I hope you like this video. If you do so, don't forget to hit that subscribe and like button. I'll be meeting you in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.